Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have a new scrapbooking page to share with you. So for this layout I'm using the Pink Paisley Indigo and Ivy collection and I just adore this collection. As soon as I see it I couldn't wait to get my hands on it and I brought pretty much all of it I think. So you'll be seeing this in a few upcoming videos. So I started out with that gorgeous wood grain paper as my background and that is number 7 in the collection and then I took two of the frames that were in the die cut ephemera pack and I have two photos of Oscar which I used the frames on. In both of these photos he has his favourite toy um, so I thought they would go together quite well. Um, I also knew straight away what I wanted to do with my title so I had this um, I think it's like a, a journaling card um, that was also in the die cut ephemera pack and I brought those gold titles as well which are really really pretty and one of them was good so I wanted the title to read good boy because he is a good boy um, so I used those gorgeous um, thickers that also came in the collection these are the alphabet thickers are so pretty they're actually ombre which is a bit difficult to see on the video but yeah really stunning um so i'm going to back that title piece onto foam usually i'd back my photos onto foam but because i had two of them and i wanted to arrange them in sort of like a cluster i thought i would switch things up and raise my title up instead and how you can see it is basically how i'm going to arrange the page um, there's a lot of large die cuts in this collection so I wanted to like I said create a cluster and um, yeah sort of layer some things behind the photos. also added this gorgeous doily because everyone loves a doily <laughs> so yeah I'm just sticking that onto the page I just stuck the center of it because um, once I start gluing things on top the rest of it will stick down anyway so it's fine and yeah just arranging how I want my photos to go once again and um, once I was happy with that I adhered them together and I already I'm really liking how this look at how this is looking this layout came together really quickly because I already had my idea in mind and it's one of my favorites that I've done in a while I think it's just gorgeous and the colors in these in this collection are the colors I like to use blues pinks golds nice and soft and pretty so yeah really pleased with how this turned out So as I said I'm layering things behind my photo cluster and I noticed that there were quite a few tags in this collection so I thought I would take three of those and stick them behind my photo and also I have this journaling spot that just says notes and um, yeah it's just a piece for me to write a bit of journaling. I don't always journal on my scrapbook pages but I wanted to on this one so I just tucked that underneath the title. And there's also that gorgeous um, piece that says happiness is here with you so I wanted to include that on the page as well. So yeah I'm just going through all of the ephemera in that pack and picking things that I wanted to use. It's always difficult when you get a new collection because obviously everything goes together and <laughs> you want to use everything all at once so it can be a bit difficult to uh, pick which ones you want to use. I also backed the um, that happiness piece on to foam as well and then with the tags I the piece that was under the photo I stuck flat and then the piece poking out I um, added some foam squares just to yeah add some interest to the page I also threaded through some blue and white baker's twine <laughs>
then I also had the pack of um, they were like sentiments. There was some um, ones on um, acetate and some chipboard ones, and they're absolutely gorgeous. And there's so many of them, so you'll be seeing them a lot. But I added three of those underneath the photo, and then I think I'm done with my page. Yep, that's my page all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you very much for being here. Bye.